1950 DA, the shape is you've got your second finger on your third fret of your top E. The first chord in the song, you're claw hammering, which means hitting together. With your thumb, you're hitting your A string open and you're hitting, as I say, the third fret on your top E with your third, uh, sorry, your th third finger. So it sounds like that, it's dead easy. <laughs> As soon as you hit that, all you're doing next is moving your second finger up to there, which is your seventh fret in this tuning. So your thumb's not doing anything, you just slide, it's called a slide. Okay, so it's practice that for a few minutes. So you make that slide and then you take your finger off and pluck it again. Open. After that it just comes down. Two, three. So if you put it all together, you'll be surprised you come up with us. Now, the second time around, you put your pinky on the third fret of your B string. Thank you. 
thing about that, you can see the chords. Right, after that, a bit of a change and quite an imposing chord. You're using your thumb on your fifth fret of your E string. Bass note. <laughs> Now, if you want to use your second finger, third and fourth finger, fine. I actually use my thumb again. No, I don't. I don't. So it's, that's the shape that you saw. You get uh, third finger on um, fifth fret of your A string. Your first finger on the third fret of your D string, that's the shape. And it's just 6, 5, and 4, 3. After that, a little trick. That's a stun off, a hammer off. Your top E, use your second finger. And hammer off so don't hit it twice don't go just it does enough of itself well I'm trying to keep the time so it's all the same right this is the hardest chord in the whole song but it's not actually hard you're right up next to capo so try and keep your fingers as straight as you can so your first finger is on the first fret of your D string your A string is clear your second finger is on your D string second fret your third finger is not used put your pinky on the third fret Of your, uh, of your B string. I'm playing that as a chord just to get the shape, although it's not played as a chord. But that's the shape. The picking pattern is you don't, you're not hitting your A, you're hitting your E. And again, I would use my thumb on the D. So. So the pattern I'm using is and then thumb again on the D, then two. And then you're back to how you started really. Second finger, third fret, E string. There's a slide there. Same way you started. This time on the way back down, just hit that B string. Then back to the previous chord. I can't remember how the previous one finished in a D, but this one does. The whole point is you can play along to this. As long as you're banging tune, you take your time. You can cut out all the dialogue and just knit it together. That shape, that chord. I think the pattern is six, four. And six, four, three, one. Oh, 
So that is so fucking difficult playing this half speed. <laughs> I think once, one, uh, I should stop talking you through every chord really, because you're not an imbecile. You've, you've got the shape. Yeah, the shape and then. So it does that three times. And then you hit with your pinky and your fifth fret and doubling it with your thumb on your, your bottom E. And then the sequence is. And it does the same with your second finger, your third fret. For the initial, you're just hammering on with your second finger, first finger, and it's claw hammer with your bottom, e, bottom A, top E, first finger, second fret. getting that because it's bars that's all it does if you get that sequence <laughs> That's where you're sliding up. So your shape there is the second finger on your seventh fret, top E, and hit it with an E. That's just to give it the bass. In fact, hit, hit the B string, uh, sorry, the A string before you slide, so it's... So you're right into it. I'll, I'll do that whole bit again. And you play along with it. So 
You've got the camera on so it's better just to show you. Again it's claw hammer you. That's the shape. So you're hitting five and one, two, three. Five and one, five, one, two, three. The same again, but you just move your first finger um, down a need to use your, you only use uh, your root note when you're hitting the uh, first, sorry, I'll So once you hit those four, you snare three notes, snare four notes, sorry. Just up and down, I'll show you if I can. Uh, you can get away with that. You can get away with it if you want to stick in a wee claw there, you'll get away with it because it's perfectly tuned. The one I actually play. Just do that again. sequence out of the way. And the last note there is a B. Ah, oh, you can watch it back. Again, you claw hammering, as you do a lot in a song, with always keep your mind and with your thumb on the A string. Don't worry if you, I haven't mastered this, when I recorded the album it was actually amazing, like I actually got it in one take, which I didn't for most of the album, I just, I just hit it clean, but the, it's best to go just like, have your finger 
because you this is the only time in my whole album and you'll ever have to do this it's never it never goes that high <laughs> It's not hard, the sequence, it's just because you're unused to it. It's like... and then it goes back to. Which, with this time, we're familiar with. So it sounds like. Give me a sound. So after been anchored up there, like just when well, I'm waiting up there, it goes to that shape and your A string again with your thumb. That's where the harmonic is. Just fill you in with the notes. That's your harmonic. Same as things in that thing. It'll take you a bit of time to get those, but you'll get them. That's practice. You need practice to get these. You can't wake up in the morning and just play that. That requires a bit of time. I didn't hit it perfect there, but I can hit it perfect. That's a good one to watch in the video. So, yeah, after our little exploits up here. The next chord is that. It's the opening chord to things in the attic. You'll recognise that. I'll just show you the shape, because it can't be bored. I'm just screaming. Oh, well, no, I can. Uh, my first finger's on. On the A string. Second finger is on the E string. Is and my third finger is on the same fret on the D string. Sounds pretty shitty, but when it's recorded well, it sounds good. Very esoteric chord. So that's the shape. So first finger there, the second finger on your A string, third finger tucked in, tucked in on the D string. So that, that's a solid shape, yeah, you get used to that. I think that's a regular. 
I get us one of these chords in this tune you can't really go wrong with. Uh, no matter what, yeah. As long as you can up the way to start. No way to change. So it comes back to there. Right back to start. So you got that one. Thank you.